Very good. Okay. Vea, ahora, ¿cómo funciona esto? How it works. Vea, si usted llena un canasto de granos rojos, ahora se gana 3 dólares, como 1500 pesos. If you fill one basket with red beans, you will earn 3 dólares. Oh, wow. I'm so sad and I want to go. I want to stay. No, not really. I'm ready to go back home. We just had breakfast at this lovely buffet breakfast at the hotel. It's uh, me and my sister. It's me and my sister over here. Hi, sister. And my niece. Hi, niece. <laughs> We're going to do the coffee chocolate tour today. And it's a half day, and then after that, we're gonna do uh, probably do some souvenir shopping at the craft market, do some haggling, and then yeah, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a, a chill day after the tour. Uh, today is not as sunny right now, but I think the clouds are coming in already. But it's okay. I think it's indoors, right? What's indoors? The plantation tour. I don't know, we'll find out. I guess we'll find out when we get there. We slept really well last night. Went to bed around like 10. Something like that. I don't know, it was really early. And then we slept in today, which is kind of nice because we have not slept in at all since we've been here. So, by sleeping in, I mean like we woke up at 8. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I just checked into my flight. I'm leaving tomorrow. And, oh, remind me I have to the shuttle yeah just remind me I just haven't done it yet um, I think that's it Costa Rica is so nice we'll be back again Brick coffee tour right now. Uh, we're just kind of waiting around until our tour starts at 11. And we got some uh, free coffee samples. There's the dark and the light. We've been drinking the dark at the hotel, and so just had a little bit of light one. Uh, are you gonna have coffee today, Victoria? No, the mommy says no, but she gets to have chocolate. So it's because the coffee and chocolate tasting. Uh, the clouds are still hovering. Hopefully, um, it won't rain on us. It looks like it's gonna be a short tour. Um, they said it's gonna be about an hour, hour and a half, and then, uh, and then it's lunchtime. We got the lunch, so I think we should be done by probably around like 1:30. Be able to get back to the hotel, and then uh, she, has, she has to practice and do her homework, and I get to maybe drink on my last day. Drink, have some more sangria, some imperial or something. Look at these. So these are the those statue things that they use for for the parades. I think we actually saw this when we were in Guanajuato when we saw the wedding that was coming by. Um, I'll put the link right over here. Um, you can see that they use something like this in that wedding. So I guess it's like a little Latin Spanish thing. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Can we just start this tour so we can drink more coffee and be uh, super decaffeinated today. Ok, vamos a hablar de café. Let's talk about coffee. Vean, supuestamente una cabra descubre el café. Hey. Hey. Los árabes hacen la bebida y con expansión musulmana el café llega a Europa. Y en Italia abren las cafeterías. Y estas son las semillas de arábica. These are the arabica seeds. La puede pasar para que la vean. 
You can pass it around to see it. Oh. Pass it around. Uh, no, not rum. Pass Ooh. it around. <laughs> it's a peanut. It's like peanuts. Vea, si va a plantar café nada más agarra semillas y las avienta sobre suelo mojado. If you want to plant coffee, it's quite... And it's very important in couples in Paris because we are Catholics, right? Yes. Si, no, no. Catholics, <laughs> hay que hacer la cosa no. en orden de Dios, fríos, no. cuartetos del diablo. No, 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 no. So it's a kind of fluffy no, story, to vea, chan, 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 We transplant them in couples, yes, but not because we are Catholics, because we are a small country, we need to increase production. Well, so let them rest. We have a picture. <laughs> The last day. ¿Cuántos de estos hizo usted el último día? But in the last season, I think my best day, my, my record was 17 baskets in one day. Sí, sí oh. lo, que, lo que más he cogido yo son 17 en un día. Oh wow, 17 baskets, three dollars. Ah, sí, ese es allá. How many? A lot. We need one to dollar. pay here. <laughs> Two dollars. Oh wow. Three dollars. <laughs> Two more for taxes. <laughs> yeah, Thank you very much. Hot water to your coffee and it doesn't rise, it stays down. That's an old coffee, probably too humid, so don't drink it. Put the nose very close to the mug like this. Push and smell. Huele <laughs> café, smell the coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Are you fine now? Mm -hmm. Get in there? Yep. <laughs> done with our coffee tour and our lunch it was very uh, it was very cool the our tour guides are super funny um, they did both like English and Spanish so um, yeah it was pretty cool lunch is cool typical you have your meat chicken I'm sorry you have your meat rice beans you know and uh, some type of root which was surprisingly not a plantain or oh, sorry and some type of root which is like a, I think it was a like sweet potatoes it was really good. Um, no plantains this time, surprisingly. But and then we got to taste um, some chocolates uh, and I don't know, chocolate cover fruits, candy, whatever. Yeah. So this is an actually actually not a plantation. Um, they actually just roast the beans here. So they buy the beans from different plantations um, around the area and they just roast them and bag them here. So it's pretty cool. So now we're gonna take the bus back over to uh, the 
hotel and then I'm gonna head over to the craft market to do some shopping. And the uh, sun's coming out. Yay! What a good time. It's pretty awesome. Just got dropped off by an Uber. We are back in the city, San Jose. And Grace, Gracie, my sister and I are gonna be doing some uh, souvenir shopping at the Mercado Nacional de Artisanal or something like that. Uh, my sister hasn't been in the city, so she's taking a picture of uh, the National Museum, which is right next door to this, to this uh, market. Flight is at 9 o'clock a.m. I have a direct flight to LAX. Um, I took a free shuttle from the hotel and I had to wake up at 4. I actually got up at 3 because I didn't want to miss my flight. So I um, took the free shuttle over here. Um, it didn't take very long at all. And I actually got TSA pre check, um, you know, one of those like random ones, and I didn't even use it. The line was really short, it just went by. It was pretty, really easy. Um, yeah, I'm now at the VIP lounge here. Um, I believe there's two of them. I went to one downstairs at the uh, Costa Rica uh, Santa Maria Airport. And it's actually pretty cool. They give you um, like free the coffee, juice, beverages, basically. Light beverages and then some light snacks like um, some fruits, cookies, and some pastries and stuff. So um, my flight doesn't leave for another three hours. Um, so I have two hours before boarding time. Um, my flight is actually overbooked and they're asking for volunteers if it was any other time I would probably do it um, but I have to get back to California I have to get back to LA because we're driving to Zion tonight so, so yeah I'm just uh, enjoying some delicious Costa Rican coffee right here muy rico so I'm gonna be having some coffee and um, just kind of a light snack I'm probably gonna be up all like throughout my whole flight it's gonna be five hours I know there's a few uh, weather uh, freezing that's going on right now. There's a tropical storm going through uh, Baja, California. So hopefully that won't um, be too much of a deterrent for our flight. So, so yeah. And I'll see you back in LA. Thank you. 